this small block Chevy again. 357, 40 over 350. But while I got it at this stage, I thought I might point some shit out. Using these factory hydraulic roller blocks. And I, like I said in another video, it's the cheapest way to get a roller cam in your shit. But you're limited on how big you can go. And here's why. You look down here. Got your, your dog bone here that keeps your lifters in line with your cam and shit. As you'll see, that fucking lifter is like just a touch below the top of that fucking dog bone. The bigger the cam gets, the higher the lift gets, the smaller the base circle gets. So, on a big cam, that fucking lifter's gonna, when it's on the back side of that cam, it's gonna drop down in that dog bone pretty fucking far and if you go real big it's going to drop all the way you know out of it and spin in the bore and waste the fucking cam and all kinds of other shit this is a 555 lift cam in here I've run as much as 580 lift cam and this with these spider setups and shit, but I used a 300 taller lifter comp cams makes. These are GM LS7 lifters here, made for an LS. But even at 555 lift, that lifter is already slightly below the fucking top of the dog bone that positions the fucking lifters and then you got your oil band and shit where the oil comes in it drops down too low you know your oil shit ain't intersecting properly that's all that spider that's a comp cam reproduction of the GM shit. And then those are comp cam dog bones. That's all about the whole fucking comp cam kit. And then like I said, LS7 lifters. And then it's 555 lift Lenati hydraulic roller. 240, 252 at 50. But to go much over, say 600 lift, and one of these blocks, it's best to use the retro fit the link bar lifters and just do away with all this shit but that's the visual reason right there Cause them fucking lifters will drop down too far and it could get catastrophic but this is 555 lift with a 1-5 ratio rocker arm and uh, I'm wanting a little more lift to get into the max flow of the heads so 
I wanted it closer to 600 lift, so I'm going to use a 1.6 rocker arm, and that this low lift with a 1.6 rocker comes out to 592 lift, but the lift the lifter will still be in the same place. The additional lift will be in the fucking moving the push rod closer to the rocker arm stud a little different leverage so you get a little more lift and all this shit stays the same but stick about 580 lift cam in there and without the tall lifters and them fuckers get low enough to be concerned about. But this, as this will be set up, it'll be 592 lift, and that's the heads I'm using. That'll work out just fine. But that is the cheapest way to get a roller cam get you a late model. This is a 90 model L98 350 out of a Z28 or IROC or whatever the fuck they called them that year. But it's an L98 350 block factory roller cam. And that's the cheapest way to convert to a roller engine is get a factory roller block. We got the front timing cover and shit on it. We got the harmonic balancer. Here's a little tip. Take them cheap chrome timing tabs get your zero, chop that motherfucker off, and then chop it off there, and deburr and shit, and fucking pull it back, and then when I go for the final assembly, get the piston absolute top dead center, and then line that fucking pointer up with that mark on that balancer, and it'll be accurate but when things come shitload of numbers on them and totally unnecessary you could just have one stripe on there and a point and a dial back timing light and you're good to go and gold and black looks pretty good single groove those are just fucking, they're new, but they're old school GM replacement pulleys, like for early 70s, single groove, long water pump style. It's getting there, won't be long now, this motherfucker will be thumping. Still ain't put the pistons in. Main reason being they fucking sat around for six years and got some rust on the rods and cleaning them goddamn rods up is a pain in the ass and I just ain't felt like fucking with it. So I've been doing other shit. But I'm thinking tonight's gonna be the night. Have to break down and clean them motherfuckers up and finish this short block out get the oil pan and shit on it get the heads torqued on it and figure out what length push rod I'm gonna need get, it up, get the heads and everything on it to figure that out but there it is factory roller cam set up 